Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Abercrombie styling try on haul. Y'all already know, I love these. I do these at least once a month. It's my favorite brand to do it and you guys seem to really like it, so I'm gonna continue going with it. So we have a bunch of spring pieces that they just launched. Um, I'm excited for spring. I'm so excited for spring. I'm over the cold weather as I'm sure most people are and I don't even live in a snowy place. So I'm sure if you live where snow, you're ready for spring to happen as well. Um, I got a bunch of different pieces and I'm going to show you them. I think I styled 15 different outfits to kind of show you the versatility of the pieces. Um, like always, I love when you guys sound off in the comments down below what you think of how I styled them, um, what you think of the pieces, if they should stay or go. I don't keep every single piece in this haul, um, but I just wanted to share with you kind of what's new, what's exciting, and how I would style it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first piece, if you watched my recent Shein haul, you saw that I picked up a shirt just like this and remembered that I had just purchased this um, as well. And honestly, you guys, I like the Shein one better. Okay, so hear me out. This is actually very nice, but it is a super thick cotton shirt. And to be honest with you, I just feel like it would be too hot in the spring unless you live in a very cold climate. I live in Texas, so as soon as it's spring, like right now it's 75 degrees outside. <laughs> Last week, it was like 40. So you just never know, but it's honestly like when I think of spring, I think of lightweight, like breathable material. And this is a very thick, like traditional Oxford cotton shirt. Um, I love the color blocking detail. I love the stripes. Uh, I will link the one that I purchased from Shein down below. I just, it could be considered cheaper, but I honestly like it better. Um, and yeah. I don't know. I love it still. The pattern, amazing. If you like a thick shirt, and like I said, you live in a colder climate, maybe grab this one over the Shein one, but overall, I love that this like sort of color blocking trend is in. Like always, all the links for all of the outfits that I um, put together will be linked down below. So all the exact pieces that I picked up from Abercrombie plus similar ones um, to if not the exact pieces that I show in all the outfit styling. So yeah, check out the description box if you're curious to shop. All right, sticking with the stripe trend, this is in no particular order, but this is a striped button down dress. And I got this in a size XXS. And honestly, I only did that because it said it was like insanely oversized. And y'all, I love it. It's just too short. So I honestly need to just get probably a small and I would be very happy because um, I just feel like I need a tall or longer length for like comfort of myself, but I love the versatility of this piece. I love these sort of like shirt dresses. I just think they're super cute, timeless. Stripe is a cute, super cute, timeless piece. Um, and I love the green. I love, green is probably one of my favorite colors to wear, honestly. Um, but you can style this with a denim jacket, with a sweater vest, if it's a little chillier where you live. Um, there's just a bunch of different options with this and I love it. Okay, this next piece, I was honestly so surprised when I got it in, and I've been gravitating towards pink. Wait till you see my next haul because I got so much pink stuff, it's not even, it's not even funny. I don't know where, I honestly had zero pink things in my wardrobe before, up until now, honestly. Um, but this is a sweater, and it is so thick and so heavy, so be mindful of that. It's not necessarily like a light springtime sweater, but it can be really nice if you still live in a cold climate for spring. The quality of this is phenomenal. It's not cropped, but it's not long. It does have a pretty um, like stiff band at the bottom, so I just went ahead and tucked that band under to give me a look that it's cropped, but not. Like I still, even with high-waisted shorts or high-waisted um, pants, it doesn't show my stomach, so I really enjoyed this. I think this is super cute. You can throw it over the shoulders, you can wear it plain, you can throw it over a dress or a skirt, whatever. I think it's just a really versatile piece, and I absolutely love this like pinky lavender color. I own nothing like this, like I said, so super excited to have this in my spring wardrobe. All right, this next piece is actually a bodysuit, and I feel like you cannot go wrong with this. Um, honestly, I just feel like the, the boat neck top, I love the little thin spaghetti straps. These are double lined, so you can wear them without a bra. I personally did um, in the try-on and had no issues with it being like see-through or anything. So I think, <laughs> um, but you could also wear it with a strapless bra if you feel more comfortable that way. But I love this and I feel like it's just a classic piece that everybody would get a lot of use of in their wardrobe. It is a thong bottom with button snaps at the bottom. And yeah, it's such a 
nice quality, super, super stretchy. Um, I would probably wear this just like plain in replacement of like a basic white tee, but go with this in the summer um, with jeans or shorts. And yeah, I just feel like you can layer with this if you want, throw like a button up over the top of it or a sweater or whatever. Um, but this is just such a versatile piece. If you've not tried Abercrombie's like basic, uh, body suits you need to they're like I have so many they're such good quality and they last forever and they're super stretchy and super soft all right y'all when I got these jeans I was like oh my god they're gonna be huge I did get my true to size which is a 26 these are the high-rise dad jeans I'm always trying to figure out like my perfect jeans sometimes they're hit sometimes they're a complete miss but I got these in a 26 which is a two regular and these are the dad jean with the little like cross button like waist situation. I will say this was extremely hard to button for me. I don't know what it was. I struggled so hard at like trying to like angle my hands right. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I honestly probably could have sized down in these, honestly. And I know, I go back and forth whether I'm a 25 or a 26. Um, But I think Abercrombie's jeans were in just a smidge, smidge big, honestly, but Nonetheless, I used to be a 25 through and through, but then I had a baby and got older and I graduated to a 26 and now I'm thinking I'm more of a true 25, but the 25s can be tight sometimes. So um, with these, I do have some gaping in the back, so I would go with a 25 in these and I think they would fit my leg a little bit better. Love the length, love the color, and I love that like cross um, waistline. I think it's really pretty. So yeah, I'm excited that I grabbed these, but I will be trying a 25 in these to see if I like the fit of them better. If you watch my daily vlogs, you already know. I freaking love this rugby style um, knit. It's like a sweater. I used to own something very similar to this back in like high school, middle school time. Um, I love the color of this. I love the stripes. I love the collar. I love the buttons. I love that it's cropped, but not like stomach showing. I've lived in this. I've worn this <laughs> before the haul. I've worn this probably three or four times. Um, and yeah, it's just so cozy, so comfy. I think with, you can like transition this from like more colder climates to uh, summer with a pair of shorts. But yeah, this is so freaking cute. I like, I don't know. I need it in any other color that they come with. Normally I would expect it to have like a big giant patch on it back like Abercrombie's old style, but I love that it's just super plain. And yeah, you need this, you need this piece. All right, another pair of jeans. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise. And I will say that I decided to cuff these at the bottom because I'm seeing that trend kind of go around again. I used to love cuffing my jeans, so I'm all about it. Um, and I feel like these were just like too short to just like wear with like sandals, like they were kind of floods on me. I'm still going through it with Abercrombie jeans. I feel like the longs are too long on me and the regulars are too short on me. So. Um, with high top converse, it looks cute, cuffed, I love it. I love the giant holes on these. These are a 25 regular, um, which is a zero, and I like them. I don't think they're like that, like when I hear ultra high rise, I think like, oh my God, I'm gonna, they're gonna like meet my boobs, you know? But they didn't do that, but they're really nice. I love the color, I love the stretch on these. Um, they are more of a like, I would say they're in between like rigid and um, stretchy. I would say they're they're not one or the other. They're kind of like a good mix between the both. Um, but I actually prefer more rigid jeans when they have holes in them. Hear me out. I hate when this material is like just bungee and looks like literally like like a rubber band situation. And this doesn't. So I like that look better. I just feel like it looks like traditional denim and I prefer that look. So loved these guys. I tried out a new pair of shorts. Um, I am a loyal, loyal Abercrombie shorts girl through and through. I have some still from when I was in middle school and high school, you guys. Yes, I do. I know, kind of crazy. Some of them still fit me. These are the mom short, which I feel like became pretty popular last year. They're the four inch inseam, high rise. I love these. They're just a basic, um, fully like a medium blue, almost dark, no rips, just some distressing down at the bottom. The length is really nice. Um, it's not too short. Like I said, I am just not into short shorts anymore. I'm more into like longer shorts. 
I just feel more comfortable. I also love this little detail here. If you have thicker thighs or you just are self-conscious about like, like when you lay, when you sit your legs down, whatever the case may be, this little slit, look for this because that helps kind of open up the short when your thighs need to expand and it's your best friend. I love these. Yes. Perfect pair of just like basic denim shorts. Can't go wrong. They're very, very stretchy. So this next little shirt is super cute, but you'll have to sound off. I'm kind of like up in the air about it only because I really could only find one way to style it, which is with dark skinny jeans. I could go with white jeans and I would have liked to, but my white jeans were low rise and I felt like they just showed too much stomach personally. But if you had high rise white denim, this would look super cute with it. So this is a like square neck top. I've been loving these square neck tops. That's why I grabbed this again, the poof sleeve. Love that the sleeve itself that's bungee isn't so tight on the arms that you just feel like you're like can't breathe. I don't know, your arms can't breathe. I, I just don't like that look, but this doesn't have that. Um, it has a little tie detail in the back, which is super cute. Um, I love an open back top like this. It is double lined, um, which I don't really know why, honestly, maybe because they just made a double line because they have a white in it or something and they don't want um, it see-through, but overall super cute um, peplum sort of top, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that guy. All right, another piece that I'm just like eh about, I like the concept of it and I love the pattern color. It is this little dress and yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the fit is like eh for me. Um, the little bow in the front does cinch. It is functional so you can make it tighter or looser depending on the size of your chest, which is awesome. The sleeves are super poofy. The bunging on this sleeve, very, very tight. Um, I think that's to, in to give you that look of like a shorter sleeve or a longer sleeve depending on what you're comfortable with. I will say I had to get this in an extra small because they did not have this in a small when I ordered it. I believe it's on sale, so if you're curious and interested in trying it out, um, hop on it now because it's about to sell out because it went on clearance already. Um, but yeah, I got it in an extra small and I got it in a tall and I still feel like it's short. So I would, if I were you, get a tall size if you are above 5'5". Five five. Um, yeah, if you don't like super short dresses, Abercrombie is just known for super short dresses. The quality of this is amazing. It in really actually isn't double lined, which I was surprised. I figured it would be double lined, but not see through. No pockets, which again, surprised because Abercrombie always does pockets in their dresses. But overall, love the print. Love this blue and white. I just feel like it's very, very summertime. Super cute. Would be a beautiful dress to wear for like a graduation or baby shower, something like that. I don't know. Whenever I see blue. That's what I think of. All right, and then last but not least, I grabbed two, two bathing suits, technically three. And I just wanna say that I will continue to do bathing suit try-ons and show all this stuff. If you guys are super respectful in the comments, if I get any kind of like mean, hate, whatever the case may be, it's happened in the past with me with bathing suit try-ons, I'm gonna block you, I'm gonna delete you, and I'm not gonna do it anymore because we are in 2022 and we do not need to be tearing down anyone's body on the internet, okay? so. Let's get into that. I did wear nude underwear underneath all of these bathing suits for sanitary purposes. And I will say that the bottoms, I will say Abercrombie's bathing suits in general run so small, so freaking small. Like they need to be more inclusive. Like that is my biggest gripe, but I keep going back because I love them. The quality is awesome. Um, and I love their designs. So the first one is this little wide shoulder sort of thing. I purchased one of these last year and didn't end up keeping it or I bought one last year but didn't keep it because I just didn't love the way the bottoms fit on me and I did the same thing this year and ordered a freaking small and I should have ordered a medium. You'll see I just have it kind of digs into my hips a little bit <clears throat> but anyways this top so cute. It is a wired top. Love the design on this. The back straps or like the shoulder straps are adjustable plus the back is super customizable because it is just a ribbon. So I guess that does make it a little more size friendly but you guys I'm in a medium in this and I overall don't have like that big of boobs. So keep it in mind. It is very stretchy. Um, I love this color. This like vintagey sort of floral it's just so pretty. So I love the V in the front and in the back. Um, you can kind of see my underwear while I'm wearing it because they are low cut. These are technically their high rise or high leg cheeky. On the model, I feel like they wear them low rise, but I like to wear them high rise and I think they look better high rise than they do low rise. But I do notice that I get like 
some some poof, you know, at the hip. So I already ordered these in a medium because I did really like them. So we'll see, hopefully they're not like too gaping because that's the problem with bathing suits. It's like, if they're too big, as soon as they get wet, they just like fall, you know? I don't want that, no gaping. But overall, so, so cute. And I love pairing swimsuits with like, Wait, button ups over the top of it, a denim button up. Um, I just think it's a really cute way to cover up a swimsuit. This next bathing suit, I love this top. Like, absolutely love this top. I think it's so pretty. It's gonna give you the most crazy tan lines. I don't know if they currently still have the underwire version of this on their site, but hang tight. They always restock things. They just did their first initial swim launch, so I think they'll restock this again. But this is so pretty. I love this asymmetrical cutout top. Um, I think it does good things for everything. I do need to loosen the um, shoulder straps a little bit so that the back sits on me not so high. I don't like when it sits high on the back. I like when it sits like in line with the front, if that makes sense. But I love this top. So cute. Did get this in a medium as well. And then I got two different bottoms to go with that top to see which ones I preferred the most. And honestly, I like the high rise ones a lot. So these are the high leg cheeky but they're also high rise, they're not just high leg. Um, these fit me the best, I would say. Um, they don't kind of like squeeze anything on me and these are a small, I think, yeah. These are a small and they fit my waist fine. Um, so yeah, love these, love that little cutout that matches it, super, super cute. And then I also grabbed the high leg, or these are the moderate cheek mm -hmm. coverage. These are the, I don't know, they don't say what they are. But these are just like high leg, but they're not high rise, if that makes sense. Another small cutout. Again, I need these in a medium. I've already ordered the medium to see which one I prefer better because um, these just kind of dig into my hips a little bit. And that is just not comfortable for me. So therefore, I don't enjoy wearing it. But anyways, love that bathing suit as well. But that is everything, you guys. That is everything that I recently picked up from Abercrombie's new release of their spring clothing. I'm so excited for spring and summer. I'm sure y'all are too. Um, again, everything will be linked down below. If you guys like these videos, please let me know by giving my video a thumbs up as well as letting me know in the comments down below what other brands you wanna see. I continue to do Abercrombie, but I'm always looking for new brands to throw in. So let me know in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye.